Good morning. I hope they're all having a wonderful day. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Fabiola and I've been engaged for a little bit over a year now. Christian, my fiance and I got engaged on January 11th of 2021. And it's funny because Megan Fox got engaged the same day, but a year after. So if you're wondering when our wedding day it's gonna be, it's gonna be in March of this year. So basically, we have a little less than two months to go to finally get married. And I have like a dedicated list on my iPhone called wedding updates and have all the things that I am yet to talk about or that you guys don't know about in this list. So we have a couple to go through. So if you're interested in where I'm at in this wedding planning journey since it's getting so so close to the wedding and everything is gonna go full on starting now, then please keep on watching. So the first wedding date update that I have for you is that Christian and I booked our weekend honeymoon and I talked about this before in some of my other wedding planning updates video but because we're spending quite a lot of money in the actual wedding date like we don't feel comfortable splurging even more by going on this amazing like week long two week long honeymoon to like i don't know like europe you know and so we decided to opt in for like a more local more affordable option so it's gonna be like three days um and it's gonna be so fun i actually need to start working on that itinerary and i'm not gonna reveal where our honeymoon is gonna be you're gonna have to wait and see to find out these two wedding planning updates that i'm telling you about were completed on december 8th and it's that we actually received our wedding cake topper i don't have it with me at the moment because i did take it to my mom's house when we visited puerto rico in the end of december so like most of the wedding things are like over there um but i will insert a photo right now so you can see how the wedding topper looks like but it's just so adorable i actually got it from a small business on etsy that i'm gonna link below for you if you are a bride or if you're looking for cake toppers like they were amazing and it's exactly what I thought of getting and I created it it was so cute and I honestly cannot wait to just use it on our wedding cake on our wedding day most of the wedding toppers that I've seen like have written the groom's like last name because the bride usually takes the, br the groom's last name but because christian and i are not going to do that we are each going to keep our last names like it was more meaningful and more like personalized to include fabiola and christian in our wedding topper and not like our last names which we're not going to share if you have any questions of why i chose not to take on his last name then just comment them down below or any questions that you have or that appear to you inside your head while you're listening to this wedding planning updates video so the next wedding planning update that i have for you is on december 27th christian and i went to where our groomsmen outfits are going to be chosen from and we actually changed like the bow color initially the bow color of the groomsmen was gonna be white but then after i picked out the bridesmaid dress colors it was a more like peachy color and so i saw some inspiration on pinterest and the groomsmen usually match like the color of the dress of the bridesmaids and so we changed those outfits that bow specifically from a white bow to a peachy pink bow for our groomsmen. The next wedding planning update is that on January 3rd, Christian and I actually visit our, visited our wedding 
venue back in Puerto Rico and we had like this little reunion with our vendor manager as well as the florist and the catering and just like the venue in general and we actually showed like a couple of decorations that they offered and just like kind of like had things more visualized I've been feeling lately that uh, like I don't know like we're spending a lot of money and I can't quite visualize our wedding yet and so I was really hoping that in that reunion I was able to just like visualize it a little bit better once I saw like decoration samples and stuff like that like flower samples and stuff like that and it honestly got better once the reunion just like ended because like I got to express like what more or less I wanted but if I'm being really honest with you and with myself, like, I still feel that way. And I don't know if it's because we're planning a destination wedding where our access to go to Puerto Rico is, like, pretty limited since we're living in Maryland. But, like, I've that gave me, like, a lot of stress before. But honestly, like, I made the conscious decision to just, like, stop stressing and let it be. They're the professional ones. I'm the first one that's getting married, you know? Like, they have dealt with hundreds of thousands of wedding before. Like, it's obviously gonna look cute. And we chose it for a reason. So just rest on that and obviously rest on God to, like, make it all happen and to be of my like happiness and our happiness our marriage all that stuff so if you're going through like the same little problem as i am with planning your own wedding then just take this advice i know it's hard but you will feel so much better if you just let it be unfortunately that day we were planning on doing like our wedding cake tasting but because of something really personal that happened to one of our wedding planners like um she couldn't get access to the cakes and therefore we weren't able to do the cake tasting so that's like a little bit unfortunate because i was definitely looking forward to like trying our wedding cake and now we're in this position that we like booked our wedding cake vendor but we haven't tried any of his cakes before so that's like a little bit odd of a situation to be in but once again it is what it is we're not in Puerto Rico anymore we were pretty limited on the time and the days where we visited after we moved on January 19th um, Christian's mom actually met up with the wedding planner when she was able to get the cakes for cake tasting and my future mother-in-law did taste some of his cakes and she really liked them so that gives us a little bit of more peace of mind that they're good and that they're yummy so yeah a little bit of a not so happy but happy ending nevertheless from december 25th to around january 6th when christian and i were in vacation to puerto rico last year and this year we actually took all of the wedding invitations of the people that are invited that actually live in puerto rico and we personally handed the invitation to each one and because the wedding invitation has like lots of information and i actually put like a dress code in it we had to more or less like explain what we were looking for and what each thing meant and so yeah like that was pretty fun watching people open our invitations open our hard work and loving it and just like having the time to just like spend time with it spend time with them a little bit visit them people that we haven't seen in like months and just like have that little time to just like be with them and explain the wedding invitation and of course i'm going to be making like a diy because i did diy our own in wedding invitations i'm going to be doing like a diy wedding invitations youtube video and that will go up after the wedding because the wedding invitation obviously has the date and the wedding venue i can't really like disclose 
off that information before the wedding to avoid any you know unwanted situations unwanted scenarios so you're gonna have to wait a little bit to see on january 9th and 10th ooh, i actually ordered my wedding dress re well not wedding dress just like the re wedding rehearsal dinner wedding rehearsal dress from fashion nova it was the first time that i've ordered anything from fashion nova and let me go grab that real quick so you guys can see it like it's so adorable i'm not gonna try it on or anything because i just want to just like for you guys to see it on the day of the wedding rehearsal when I post pictures on Instagram and stuff like that. But because you guys are the real ones that watch my YouTube videos, I'm definitely going to be showing you the rehearsal dress right now. But I'm going to have to grab it real quick inside our office. So give me just one second. I am back with the dress, everybody. So this is my wedding rehearsal dress wedding rehearsal dinner dress from fashion nova and it's this really beautiful tool material it's short and it's just so freaking adorable you guys um it gives me like a ballerina vibes and i'm living for it like <laughs> you guys have to see me wearing this dress because i look so cute and i was like really worried that it wasn't gonna fit me because the only size left was extra small and i'm not extra small but like this one fits me like just there so i'm really excited i think it was like 50 dollars because it was on sale but yeah here it is i'm so excited to wear it i haven't shown anyone this dress other than christian so you guys are the true mvps and that day on january 9th and 10th um i ordered this rehearsal dress which actually arrived on january 6th 16th and that january 9th and 10th apart from me ordering this wedding rehearsal dress i also ordered my bridesmaids get ready robe as well as the bride get ready robe and i also ordered like a wedding dress customized hanger from etsy the bridesmaid robes arrived and i'm going to show them to you right now because they're so freaking adorable let's start with this one so i got these from etsy see and i wanted them to be really silky and also have like this sort of like lacy pattern i don't i didn't want them to be like simple but i also didn't want to like splurge and so all of these like five in total cost a little bit over a hundred dollars and so this is what they look like so this is the color it's like a really cute like pinky color it will definitely more or less match the wedding the bridesmaid dresses and here it is it's one size and it has like this super cute like lacy detail on the sleeves and on the ends of the robe and then on the back side it says bridesmaid and i wanted them to be in a different color that wasn't black but because this like color is like really light if i put it in white or if i put it in like a gold color or silver it wasn't going to be looking it, it wouldn't look good in my opinion or it wouldn't just like show off as much as i wanted to for the photos that we're going to take in this so have them in black and then i also ordered my maid of honor the same color but obviously hers says maid of honor which is so adorable love it and then mine came in this little pack and i'm going to show it to you it's from the same brand from the same store and obviously mine is white and i really wanted the lettering that says bride be like a gold color and so that's what happened and i'm just so obsessed with it it has like that same lace detailing on the sleeve that same lace detailing on the ends of the dress and then are you ready for this 
ta-da! It says bright, and it's just this beautiful gold color, which I love. So that's pretty exciting. And then the other thing that I told you guys that I ordered that came in the mail was a wedding dress hanger. And look at how beautiful it looks, you guys. Like, I wanted it to be like this white color. And also have like my name written in cursive and then like the title aka bride oh my gosh it says bride and i have like the fiance shirt right now in like two months that's gonna change i'm no longer gonna wear this i guess um because i'm gonna be a bride i'm gonna be a wife so yeah and i also wanted it to have like this gold hoop so it's gonna be looking so beautiful like my wedding dress just like hanging around somewhere for the photos with this wedding dress hanger it's just the vibe it's just the aesthetic that i love and i'm so freaking excited you guys like oh my gosh i'm spending quite a bit of coin on like random stuff like this but you know you only get to do it once that's what everyone says so we're gonna hop on that. January 11th, which is like the one year anniversary of our just getting engaged, um, it actually made and created my bachelorette party itinerary and printed a whole bunch of games to play. I haven't talked about the bachelorette party yet, but that's coming up really, really soon. And because I am going to be like vlogging it on its own and just like explaining everything, I don't want to give that much away. So that's a little sneak peek of what's coming up really, really soon. So stay tuned for that because I'll definitely be like vlogging it and just like showing you all the goodies and stuff that I'm taking with me for when that happens. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. And then the next day on January 12th, I actually informed my bridesmaids about the final jewelry that I want them to wear. Um, the wedding rehearsal practices, pending things. And let me go grab the message real quick because I do have a chat with all of my bridesmaids. And so the updates for them were that, thank goodness, every single bridesmaid has their own like bridesmaid dress already like they have that taken care of and they have already arrived i also booked the bridesmaids hair and makeup stylist for the day of the wedding and i really wanted everyone um to let me know like which services they want to do with the person and i really really wanted them to at least agree on the makeup and after a lot of like talking, like they all did agree that they would like for the person to do their makeup. And then I have five bridesmaids. Um, and so like three of them decided that they wanted to do hair and makeup. And then the other two only decided with makeup and that they're going to do their own hairs. So yeah, it's going to be really cool because the day of the wedding... I'm gonna have to like rent an Airbnb or something for this because I'm gonna have myself the person that's gonna do my makeup and my hair which is the same person and then like I think she's gonna be she's gonna bring like another person so that's like already three people I'm also gonna have my grandmother in the same room my mom and then my five other bridesmaids and maid of honor as well as the makeup artist and hair stylist for them so that's like 11 people in one same place so we're, we're gonna see how that goes that has me on a little bit of stress because christian actually called like some hotels in the area to like see if it was possible to make that happen if there was like a designated space or if it was possible like to book a hotel for that day just like a room instead of hotel and they said that only the people that are actually going to be staying in that room are the ones that are permitted to be in and so that's a problem because like Christian and I are going to be staying the night before the morning of the wedding together um, and so that only means that two people are technically like authorized to be in the hotel but then we have like 10 other people that need to be there and so I think that the best option is to I think we're going to be doing this today because it's like 
like we need to sort this out ASAP since the wedding is literally around the corner. The other update that I had for the bridesmaid is that I want them to wear either platform heels or just like heels in general and I just want them to be in a taupe slash their skin color color. I don't want them to be like like I didn't want them to order like a specific shoe and that's like another like expense for them for our wedding if they already like are paying for the hair and makeup if they're already paying for their own dress like i didn't want to add to that list of expenses heels and because the dresses of them are like long the heels are probably not going to be seen anyways so i just like told them that whatever they had in their closet that it's like sort of their skin color works for me um and that way like they don't have to buy specific shoes for my wedding because it truly doesn't matter like i just want them to be their skin color because i don't want them to like pop out in like color in the wedding photos for example like i don't want one wedding wearing like bright pink shoes or red heels so like yeah i just want it to be all like congruent want them to all look pretty just like balanced you know and then when it comes to their earrings, if they don't want to use earrings, they don't have to use earrings. And if they do want to wear earrings, like the same situation with the shoes, like I just told them that I would prefer if they were like more on the downside, no like super big hoops or like dangly earrings that's like very attention grabbing i just want them to just wear the simplest thing that they have just to add like a little bit of sparkle um so yeah that's like basically my requirements for them for our bridesmaids on january 16th the rehearsal and rehearsal their dress came in the mail which you already saw and then um i actually bought wedding guest favors from etsy and those have not arrived yet i'm going to like wait to show you in another wedding planning updates video but they're so cute and honestly like we ordered a lot less than the amount of people that are invited to our wedding because we've noticed that in the weddings that we've been like people just forget about them and the bride and groom just have to like figure out what they're gonna do with them or just like give two to a person or just like i don't know just like take them back and so we wanted to order we wanted to order less than what we needed because i really don't want them to get like lost and be for nothing and because like most of our wedding and most of our wedding guests come in like family packs per se with like their kids like obviously we're not going to be giving out like this specific wedding favor to like each kid and have one family have like five wedding favors that we're just going to be giving one to each family on january 15th we actually informed our venue that i and like the decorator that i want my dog she's gonna be appearing in our wedding um i want her to have like this flower crown and so i wanted her to like have flowers all over her head just like a little wreath and she's gonna look so cute and we just informed them the decorator that i wanted that and she gave me a quote it was only 20 dollars for my golden retriever and i was like yes please do it because i've checked on etsy and the prices are like rocket high like for half the crown like i think it was like 60 dollars and she only quoted me for 20 dollar and it's like the entire wreath like all throughout her head um there's gonna be flowers not just like half or like a quarter so that's super fun and then that same day christian and i actually um picked out our with the catering services um the wedding menu and that's what we've been doing behind the scenes 
Um, the food is gonna be so yummy. We didn't actually get to taste the food either when we were in Puerto Rico. So that's like another thing that we're going like blind per se. Like we haven't tasted it and we're not going to nor we're gonna send anyone to do that from our family. So it's gonna be a surprise but I'm resting sure that it's gonna look and be very very yummy. Oh, about the bridesmaid robes, I actually have it here that they came in on January 19th. So a little update for that. And then on January 17th, Christian and I had a phone call with our potential efficient and we actually ended up choosing him because he was so nice. We explained more or less the vision that we wanted to have in our wedding and he was like yeah that sounds good may i suggest this and this and that or i can do this and this and that and i was like perfect you understand our vision and we love it we love him and i'm so excited and yeah like in terms of our wedding ceremony i did want it to be like a religious wedding but like not that those types of wedding where you have like a sand ritual or like you put like handkerchiefs or something like just to like symbolize something i think that's part of the catholic church um but since christian and i are not part of that um and i just don't really like that um we decided that we wanted to do like a semi-religious wedding instead where the officiant will basically just say like a couple of words from the bible read us a passage and stuff like that instead of what i previously mentioned that i didn't want another thing that i wanted to keep in mind when choosing an officiant was that i wanted that officiant to be partial because sometimes like the officiant like knows about knows more about the bride or the groom and then with his words in front of like everyone would just like favor one of them like for example would favor the groom or would favor the bride and like some sort of words that they say and this is like from my experience on the weddings that we attended last year and that was something that i really didn't like want in our wedding so we just wanted to get like an efficient that didn't know us from like our childhood or in this case he doesn't know us at all and i wanted him to like be very general and just like thrown in religious aspects in the wording so we got that please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel because i do have a lot of more wedding updates that are coming up but this video is getting really really long and since everything is like up in the air right now i just wanted to have like this wedding planning updates of like things that are like already crossed off the list and not just the things that i need to do so yeah please make sure that you subscribe because more wedding themed videos are like gonna be pumping up my youtube channel because it's like so close to wedding so thank you all so much for watching please make sure that you also follow me on instagram to see just like my wedding day and our honeymoon and just like the things that come in the mail like live you know like every day instead of having to like wait until i post it on youtube so yeah thank you all so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye